Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or to my channel. Today we're going to do a first impression on the Stay Naked Hydromanic Tinted Glow Hydrator Medium Coverage up to 24 hours. So no one should be wearing makeup for that long, but you know, go off. I'm really excited because I feel like my first love into like high-end foundations, I want to say, was with Urban Decay. I mean, honestly, Urban Decay was like the first high-end makeup I ever tried. I've seen so many people talk awesome things about this, so I'm like, Let's test it out for myself. The bottle. Let's hope I got this matched good. I got it in 30 light, so we'll see. When it comes to, like, tinted little glows like this, it's okay to not get the perfect shade. They did send me this, so thank you so much, Urban Decay, for sending me this. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to make this. I'm making this video for you guys to see, and then also for my friend Melissa, because she really wanted to see how this foundation wore. Do it for the gram. Stay naked, hydromatic, the most manic glow meets instantly long-lasting coverage with crazy combo of free radiance, nourishing oils, detoxify. Ooh, so this has, like, a bunch of good things for your skin, and it's also foundation. That's nice. Boost skin's natural hydration up to 30%. Comes in 12 shades. Here are all the shades. Oh, I love that because we have a nice little range. Sometimes when companies come out with like less of a range, like only 12 shades, I'm like, do you got something for everything? This color looks beautiful and this color looks beautiful. So that makes me happy. I guess that's everything. Let's uh get started. So I went ahead and I used the Rare Beauty Primer. It just leaves your face like a little glowy and just like really nice under. We're gonna go in with this guy now. I'm very excited to see how this works on my skin. It comes in a squeezy tube, so I'm like, ooh, okay. Love that. I think I got a good amount there. I'm trying to think if this is gonna be a good shade or not. We're about to we're about to find out. Well that might be like the perfect shade. Okay, I like that a lot. We're gonna blend it out. A sponge blender. That was just a little bit. We're gonna do I'm gonna do half of my face and then I'm gonna come back Show you guys what it looks like, just like half of it. Alright, so that is one application. I'm gonna put on my eyelids too. So that is, oh my god, that looks so nice on the viewfinder. So that is one half of my face with it on and one without it on. Okay, why am I kind of here for this? Like, look at this. Nothing? I mean, primer. It looks really nice all together and like you don't lose like that glow. I can't stop looking at it in the mirror. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> okay, so that is it on all of my face. By the time I'm done with like the rest of my makeup, like that's usually enough time for me to see if my skin likes this or not. The way my skin works, I know everybody's skin is different, but if something's gonna break me out, it breaks me out instantly. Like, I like that like my skin looks like skin. Obviously, it's more of a dewy texture, so I feel like that's why this looks kind of dewy, and I love that. But I'm also like, does it have to do with the primer that I use? I'm not so sure, but I love the way my skin just like looks like skin. Like, it doesn't look like a matte canvas. Not that this had to cover under my eyes, but I really like how under my eyes look like. I don't also, do I feel like I don't even need to go in with concealer? Well, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back because I'm very, very shook on how I genuinely like this foundation. Like, I'm very like, okay. All right, so I finished up all of my makeup. It worked really well with other products that I put on. I did a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of blush, a little bit of highlight, and obviously the rest of my makeup, but like the foundation wise, that's what's touching it. And I feel like it looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and zoom so you guys could see. I feel like everything worked really well together. Really like this product, but right now I was listening to a podcast. But it is 2.43 in the afternoon. So, like, in a couple of hours, I'll show you guys what I think about it then. As in, like, a first impression, like, we're off the bat. I really like this a lot. And like I said, at this point, my makeup would have broken me out or, like, I would have gotten, like, a little blemish here or there. I did have one up here before we started, but uh, it's kind of, like, dying down. I don't even think you guys could have seen it. But something would have been bad on my skin. It would have showed by now. But we'll see you back in a couple of hours. Oh, my God. My glasses are so dirty. All right, guys. Time for an update. It is... 6 14 right now um i wear glasses and honestly guys it's inevitable if i said it i do anything i wear glasses every day so like those prints are gonna be there so let's not judge my nose parts here i'm gonna zoom in a little bit and i'm also gonna look because i haven't looked okay so far like everything looks really good for how long it's been around the nose area you guys can see like where my glasses lay that is like the only part where i feel like the foundation is no longer really existing but Besides that, I feel like it has laid, like, 
really well on the rest of my skin my blush is still there too like i'm kind of shook the only thing i want to do is i want to turn off my filming light whoa hi so you feel like sometimes this lighting gives a little more of like a natural like i mean nothing's really natural but like of what my skin actually looks like without the fancy lighting um what i do like is that my face doesn't feel oily at all if anything like I feel like my skin doesn't feel oily, like maybe around my chin area, like right under my lip, if even, but I don't think it looks oily, it's just like not matte. This obviously isn't a matte foundation, but yeah, I feel like this lighting looks so much better to just kind of see. My skin's a little patchy right here, but that's literally because I was messing with the blushes so much because I took like a picture. You can see the side isn't as bad as that side, but I don't think like this has to do with the foundation, but um, that is my skin with this lighting so it's like a little different of a lighting yeah so you can see like around the nose area that is definitely like where i feel like the foundation did fade because of the prints forehead wise like it is looking really good still for how long it's been i really do like it i feel like it looks really nice on the skin like i said i feel like this little area like this little circle here was just me messing with blush all right we are here for the last update of the night on this foundation i was actually gonna take it off hours ago and then i started to cook and then i did a crying tiktok and i noticed how good this foundation look i was like we need one more update so just a little disclaimer, I did do a crying TikTok, and then when I do that, I actually get emotional. It's not like I like, put water in my eyes. Like, I genuinely, like, like to feel sad and, like, do my acting good. 9.14 p.m. I think this is the longest I've had my makeup on since March. It's 9.14, and this foundation is looking pretty dang good, and I cried, guys. I did this acting TikTok. I like cried and like I couldn't stop, and then I have to, like, blow my nose. So I blew my nose, so it might be, like, some redness here, but we are going to turn off this light. And then use this handy dandy like how good that's gonna do but you guys can see that like even though i cried like i don't have like those streaky crying lines foundation still looks really good you can still see my highlight and everything on my nose it's a little rubbed off obviously because i blew my nose But my verdict basically is that, like, it looks really good still. Like, I feel like my skin still looks like it has a base on. The only problem area would be my nose. <laughs> because when I wear my glasses, at two, I did that crying video, so I had to blow up my nose. But the fact that I don't have, like, tear lines or anything like that from crying, I cried a lot, is what really made me want to do this extra little video, this extra little uh, update. And yeah, let's go to the outro. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below any video ideas and let me know what you guys thought about this foundation. You guys are going to pick it up. So yeah, let me know if you guys are going to pick this up. I'd love to know what you guys think about it. I genuinely like it. Obviously, I want to test it out like a couple of more times, not just one. To be like, does it make it into a favorites video? We'll see. I'll let you guys know over on Instagram or in an upcoming video. But thank you guys so much for watching my first impression on it. Let me know if there's any other products you guys would like me to review. And thank you guys so much for all the love and support on my rare beauty video that went live today as i'm filming this and just like seeing all the feedback is amazing and it was a lot of fun to film that video so let me know down below what kind of videos you guys would like to see in the future and i'll talk to you pretty faces in the next one bye guys